Go down the page. So this guy's a little messier, isn't it? Right? Because we've got a more complicated object, we've got a parabola. But I want to think in the same way and see if I can work out the shape of this thing. Okay? What was the first thing I looked at when I was doing this? There were a couple of features that were important to me. The x-intercepts, very good, right? Now, uh, I had two x-intercepts here, that one and that one, right? Here, it just so happens, I actually have how many x-intercepts? Can you count them? Seven. Next door. <laughs> You're right. Wait. Yep. You with Miss x intercept? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, Mrs. Lee's will help you out. Three. You see the, do you see the three x-intercepts? Do you see them? Uh, one, two, three. So I'm going to use each one. I'm going to use them one at a time. Let's just go from left to right, shall we? Okay. So here's the first one. Now, um, zero plus something else. Do you see that's vertically just below it? Just there? See that spot there? Now... You can see that this is not a precise spot, is it? It's not like nicely on the grid lines, okay? But that's okay, that's all right. Zero plus some other thing, I don't know, what does it look like? Three quarters or something like that, okay? So whatever that value, it's negative, sorry, negative three quarters. Whatever that value happens to be, when I add these two graphs together, zero plus something else will give me something else. So I'm gonna go through there. Are you okay with that? Uh, I'm gonna keep on going from left to right. Here's the next x-intercept, right? If I look vertically, am I above or below? Below. So I'm going to go down to here. Okay. And I do actually go on a grid line there. What's the y value down there? Negative. That's negative 2, isn't it? So I'm going to put a, a cross there. 0 plus that will give me that. Okay. And then uh, I've got to go all the way across the y-axis to get to this next intercept over here. Am I above or below now? Uh, um, I go up, right? So I'm going to go up to here. Something like that. Okay, like so. Okay, so we're coming to the whole shape in a minute. Okay, so you got this guy up here, right? Again, it's not on a nice, neat spot, but no big deal. Zero plus some other thing will be some other thing. Are you okay with that? Now, there are these three points, and before we got three points, and you're like, oh, this is all in a straight line. This is nice, but this is clearly not in a straight line, is it? So just to make sure I'm confident, I'm going to put a little extra information on here. Okay. Let's have a look at the y-axis. Can you look at the y-axis with me? Um, I'm going to use a different color here. Ooh. On the y-axis, you've got this value and this value. Do you see those? Can you read off for me, what's this x, uh, y value up here? One. It's 1. And then this one down here? Negative three. negative 3. What I'm doing with these two graphs is I'm adding them together. So 1 plus negative 3 should give me negative 2. So sort of in the middle. Like that. Do you see that? So my graph is going to go through negative 2. Okay, yeah, question. Can we just any point from any other graph? And like, um, yeah, so you literally can pick anywhere on here, right? Anywhere you could put like a ruler up against here, which I didn't bring with me. <laughs> you can put a ruler up against you and say, okay, this plus this, whatever that happens to be. And uh, it's, uh, it's, okay. it's all right, I'm not that fast, right? Uh, in fact, uh, I'm going to do one more, an interesting one. Over here on the left-hand side, do you notice? Just um, have a look at this point here with me here, this line here, right? What's this y value here? It's 1. What's this y value here that's just below it? It's negative 1, right? So we're adding these together. What happens when you add 1 and negative 1? You get 0, right? So I'm just going to draw that in. 1 plus negative 1, they kind of meet exactly in the middle at 0. Okay, so now have a look at our red crosses. Do you feel like we've got enough information to draw this thing? Yes. I think we've got, roughly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, do my very best. I'd highly encourage, if you don't already have a pencil in your hand, this is quite hard to draw accurately, get a pencil out because then if you get it wrong, no big deal. Okay, in fact, I'm very likely going to get this wrong, so I'll do, it, do my very best. I think this is the kind of shape I'm getting, right? Uh, something like this. What do you think of that? I mean, it's not, it's not the greatest, it's not my greatest work, okay? But it goes through all of my red crosses, right? <laughs> um, you can see why it goes through and the shape that it traces out. And in fact, uh, there's another fun spot here. Uh, a point that we didn't like actually draw on, but I want you to notice, have a look at this spot here. There we go. I put a ruler up, 
right, against this spot where my red graph, the one I've just kind of guessed at, right, it, uh, that's the x-intercept, right? What do you notice about our original graphs, f and g, or, or f and g, I can't remember which one's which. What do you notice about those two graphs when I put the ruler up against it? Two yeah. and negative two. Yeah, two and negative two, and they exactly cancel out. They give you zero. Does that make sense? So you can see how, thank you, Mrs. Lees, you can see how visually you're getting that x-intercept by getting the two spots where you're like exactly above and below the same amount. Okay? So this is what the shape looks like. Now, let's confirm just like we did before, what happens if we think about this algebraically? Okay? So I'm getting, uh, did I give you the right graph? I'm just thinking. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Um, I'm thinking about y equals the sum of these two, f of x plus g of x. And I'm just going to substitute in what I know, f of x, g of x, what they're actually equal to. So I've got x squared minus 3. That's the first function. And then I'm adding it. Oh, hold on a second. Did I get this right? Sorry, I'm just thinking to myself. x squared minus 3. Oh, yeah, 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 no, sorry. I'm just, um, I'm just remembering my algebra funny. Okay, so this is just what I've, I've just substituted in, what f of x is, what g of x is. So I'm going to get x squared plus x, plus x minus, two. There, minus 2, right? Um, there, are, there are no x squared terms to collect, no x terms, that's just it, right? Now, this object here, if I gave this to you as the first question, what would you do with this? What would your instinct be? Factorize. To factorize, right? So I'm looking for a pair of numbers. They add to, they add to 1. And they multiply to negative 2, so my pair of numbers will be x plus 2, plus 2 is one of them, and x minus 1. Now, does that gel with what we drew on the graph? Have a look over there, right? What are the x-intercepts that you can read off the red graph? This one is 1, which, right, which corresponds to that guy over there, right? And then the other x-intercept over here at negative 2, it corresponds to this guy. Right? You okay with that? So you see how I've confirmed what I got visually through my algebra. Okay?